I'm a member of a secret society and I didn't even know it. I made a couple of videos recently that touched on graduation tradition, so I figured I'd share my own. A lot of my videos are about linguistics, so if you've seen those, you would reasonably assume that I've studied linguistics, and I have, but that's only my masters. I actually specialize in an interdisciplinary field uh, that combines AI and language. So my PhD is in computer science and my undergrad, most importantly here, is in software engineering. If you studied engineering in Canada, you probably know where I'm going with this because Canadian engineering students participate in a ritual called the calling of the engineer, where we agree to accept an obligation to uphold rigorous professional standards. And as a symbolic reminder of this obligation, we are given an iron ring. The iron ring is to be worn on the pinky finger of your working hand, the idea being that as you write or draw or in more modern context type, uh, the ring kind of rubs against things and reminds you that people's lives are in your hands. In fact, the folklore surrounding the ring is that they're made from the iron of a collapsed bridge in Quebec. Now, I don't know if that was ever actually the case. I highly doubt it is now, because they would have run out of iron a long time ago. And also, while I cannot guarantee that this is where they get them, I have seen the rings for sale in bulk on AliExpress. So having gone through the calling of the engineer, can I then call myself an engineer? And weirdly, the answer is no, because in Canada, engineer is a protected title. And in order to call yourself that, you need to be accredited by the Canadian Council of Professional Engineers. And that requires not only a university degree, but also work experience, some tests, some documentation, uh, and it brings with it certain legal obligations. And as someone that has spent most of their career working in tech for multinationals that don't really care, I haven't gone through it. Side note, I have held the title of machine learning engineer, so I'm not entirely sure how that's legal. Now, at the beginning of this video, I mentioned I was in a secret society, and the people that put on the calling of the engineer are very clear that the ceremony is private, but not technically secret. However, they do ask participants not to share the details of the ceremony with people that have not gone through it. And luckily for them, I did mine 15 years ago, and I don't remember. However, the people that organize the ceremony are called the Corporation of the Seven Wardens, which sounds very Illuminati. 